basic uses and properties of pop-up menu button and pop-up menu item. Here's a default basic flutter application. Let's start by removing all the unnecessary lines. And now in scaffold, I added the at bar and body, an inaction property of at bar. Let's provide pop-up menu button there. Just remember you can use it anywhere. Item builder property of pop-up menu button is the only required property. It is a function that returns list of pop-up menu item. It provide context as parameter. Pop-up menu item is a widget that is only used along with pop-up menu button. Child is a required property of pop-up menu item. It accepts any widget. Value property of pop-up menu item accepts various types of objects, commonly, int, or strings, are used. Value of pop-up menu item marks its uniqueness from other pop-up menu item, which means value of each pop-up menu item has to be different. Remember to provide the type of the value for the pop-up menu item. Here I used integer, so I provided int as type to the pop-up menu item. It would be string, if the type of the value was string. On selected property of pop-up menu button is a function that allows us to perform certain actions on selecting items from the list. Here as parameter, we get the value of a certain pop-up menu item that the user select. We can perform various actions using logical statements with the value of the pop-up menu item that we receive. Here I print something if the value we receive is equal to zero. Now, let's add more pop-up menu item on the list, and see if it still works well. As you see the value of each pop-up menu item has to be unique. The value act as a key, it informs the machine that, a certain element, is selected by the user. Since, adding more contents, to the list of pop-up menu item, can be very long, and at some point, it could be messy. So, here I create a list of string contents, and met them with a list of pop-up menu item. As I said earlier the value of pop-up menu item does not has to be integer. Here, I use the name of each content as its value. Since all the names are different from from each other, there won't be any problem. Just from there to add the type. In this case, it is string. As you see in the console, it still works same as before. I just had to check if the value we receive is equal to that of certain content name. Since, if, and if else, statements could be pretty long and messy, so, I use switch statement, both way works, it's up to you, what you prefer, and understand well. You can see in the simulator and console, it still works well and fine.
for more clear demonstration, I created different pages for all the contents to navigate to. Have a look at the simulator. You can see in the simulator, navigating to different pages are working fine. Icon property a pop-up menu button lets us change the icon to whatever icon we prefer. Color property lets us change the background color of the pop-up menus. There are many more properties, try it out, those are not very commonly used, however you could find it useful to you. That's all for base uses and properties of pop-up menu button and pop-up menu item. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to get notified for more upcoming Flutter Widget videos.